Hello again, and it's time for another project. Today we're going to do some scroll saw work on these teeth biting lips. It's an unusual one, but it's just a nice size to fit on my shed outside. Now, as always for me, get your template. I'll literally put carbon paper underneath, stick it on with a bit of tape and draw around it. That way you can use that paper over and over again. If it's just a one project, you could put painter's tape on there, glue the paper and literally cut over the top of the paper. But I prefer the carbon and trace method. So there we have it on our two boards. Now if you had one piece board, you could do it all in one go. But this is fencing wood and it's been treated already hopefully to go outside. Got a good thickness to it and it's really cheap wood to practice on if you're new to scroll sawing or routing or anything connected with wood to be honest. Now the blade I'm going to use today is what they call a spiral blade. You basically get three types of blade. You get a pin blade. This is obviously called a pin blade because it does have a little pin at either side. That cuts from the front and you would clip it on, clip it off, uh, on at the bottom, on at the top should I say. And that's pinned in. They come with your basic cheap scroll saws. They're, they're an okay blade for somebody that's starting. But if you're doing detailed work, you would have to start drilling pilot holes into the wood. This allows you to feed the blade through. Therefore, you would need a pinless blade. Exactly the same kind of blade again. Just cuts at the front, but really small. I mean, you can see how small that one is. And it has no pins on at all. Hence, it's called pinless. This will fit onto clamps or fancy fittings on your more expensive scroll saws. There is adapters that you can use, which I have to use on my old drapper. There's one of your adapters there, top and bottom, and that literally just clips on your scroll saw, take your tension up, and you're good to go. Now the blade that's in this one is called a spiral blade. I use these all the time now, I do prefer these, they're not everybody's favourites, and you will either love or hate them. But the good thing about the spiral blade is, you can cut up, down, left, right. Basically you could, you could just go along like that with your wood, and cut it and slide it up there and cut it. No turning of the wood whatsoever. So they're ideal for that. Whereas the uh, pinless blade and your straight blade, as they call these, pin blade, they only cut from the front. So if you were cutting this piece of wood here, you'd have to feed your blade down there and then turn that full circle to feed it there and then turn it full circle to feed it down there. Really a lot of spinning about. And if you're doing big projects, you're just not gonna fit that piece of wood in your scroll saw so spiral blades for me pin blade there pinless blades there there's different types of pinless blades reverse tooth there's some that cut up on the way down as well as the way up there's all fancy fancy things but for a basic cut any of these three will be fine and the idea is when I cut all this out as you can see a lot of sanding to give it some shape on the teeth and the lips and then we put it onto another backer I think I'm going to use the same wood again for the backer. So this will be double the thickness. So it's going to be quite a thick piece when it's done. Only because it's fencing wood and I don't have a backer big enough to put it on. Okay, let's set this up on the scroll saw, the spiral pegasus number five. And we basically cut all this all out. And then we'll start sanding it with the mouse sander Dremel. And get some kind of shape going down. And then we'll get onto the painting and fasten it onto our backer board. Let's start cutting it out first. Okay, just before we start cutting, I'll just show you these adapter brackets that I have to use. And they literally just clip on the top there and on the bottom. Only on your older saws or your newer ones nowadays, they don't even have these. So if you've got a nice little chrome bracket like that, that will clip on there, like so. And now we have to take up the tension of the blade. You want a nice ping ping sound as I call it. You can see how loose that one is on the back of mine. a nice little ping ping sound you just do it by ear you'll get used to it after a while and you'll know what kind of tension you want and remember when you put your blades in you want the cut to be on the down cut so you want to rub your finger down it should be smooth on the way down and rough on the way up so smooth on the way down and rough on the way up so that blade is just cutting as it goes down
Okay, you can see from that we've cut it all out. Good thing about keeping the template underneath, you've got something to put your bits onto to make sure you've got them near enough how they should be. Now I'll mark the back of these just to make sure, because when we start sanding it all down, make sure we're going to shape it on the right side. Shape all these lips in, get in here with the Dremel, just get a bit more character with the teeth and the lips. And then we'll look at the backer. Well, if you put these onto a backer, like I said before, it'll be the same wood, and we'll draw all around it all. Cut that out on the scroll saw again. And then we'll attach it all together with glue and screws. It's nice and thick, so we can come in the back and make sure it's all nicely done. Right, you can see from that, we've sanded around much as I'm prepared to go. It's a nice thick piece, is this. Them teeth will come on nice. No problem with that. Now, the idea is to put this on the same fencing wood as we made the actual lips and teeth out of. Only, re only reason being that they are going outside. So, I just want wood that will basically go outside. If this was an indoor piece, you could just use one piece. Maybe a bit of ply, a bit of packing stuff, and that would literally just go on there as one big nice piece. That would be too easy, wasn't it? So I'm going to have to use the same fencing panels. You can see I've already sanded these up nicely. You can see how rough they are underneath. And that's how smooth they are on top. And the idea is I've literally just drawn around it, got the general shape. And we'll cut it out, giving ourselves a quarter of an inch all the way around. Once I cut them two pieces out, this section here... Is actually the top piece of the and ideally we'll have a joint there and a joint there behind the lips and we hopefully shouldn't see them too much ideally it would be easy just to put it on like so just get that tooth out of the way but then we'll end up with a joint down the middle so we're just gonna try and hide that at the same time so i'm actually gonna cut this out on the scroll saw shape it off and then i'll come back when it's ready to paint we've seen some scroll saw work already on this so I don't think we need to see any more. So I'll get the backer sorted and then come back when it's ready for painting. Right, that's our base done. I put on the temporary teeth and lips, as you can see, just to give us a rough idea where they're going to go. And I've drawn round and marked them off with a pencil. Only reason being, I'm going to put screws in the back of these. Each one of the teeth and the lips just to hold it on you can glue it i'm going to glue it plus put screws in the back nice 32 32 millimeter screws and that's enough to go in the back and not come out the front obviously so i basically put those on there we've drawn around them all and that's given me a rough idea i'm just going to drill some holes through this just so that it feeds in better from the back and it'll be tight enough on there and if you just have a look at the side view there i can just find that screw that i've literally just thrown away you can see from that once that screw goes in the back it's just to say enough without popping through right i'll draw some holes in this and then we'll uh, get onto the painting side then hopefully we can glue it all together just while i'm on remember this was made with three bits just about to see a line there. This has been glued down. Plus I found some nice decking screws. They're a nice long size. Like that. And I've actually put screws in the top. You can just see it. Covered it over some wood filler. And they've gone right through there. To hold that section on. And the same there. And we have two at the bottom. It seems over the top. But it's got to be nice and solid. And hopefully it won't go anywhere. Right I'll drill this. And then we'll get on to painting and then we'll screw it all together. Right, I've drilled on my holes. 
Hopefully to hold that in place. Seems a bit over the top, but just the way I, I do things. Screws are really cheap, and it's you know for a fact it's just going to hold it in place. Just that little bit better. Now painting-wise, just a nice black for the background. It's a shame that one of these, this is one of those pro projects that everything's going to have to be painted just to give it the effect that we're after. But if you're not too keen on painting, you could probably just stain this down or just leave it and put your linseed on and your varnish. Depends what you want, but I'm going for the full colour today. Nice white for the teeth. And for a first for me, I'm actually going to spray the lips. A nice red gloss, to give it some nice red lipstick effect. And if that doesn't work with the spray, I don't use spray normally. I've got some red pillar box red, just in case, as a backup. Right, I'll throw all this paint on and we'll come back when we're screwing it together. Okay, so we've sprayed it with the red. I actually sprayed the teeth as well after I've painted them. Just give it a similar kind of shine. Painted back. We put all our screws in. That holds it all in place nicely. It might seem a bit over the top, but at least they're not going to fall off and go anywhere. The only issue to look out for is the smaller tooth there with this side of the screw thread. And as you can see from that lovely shine, I went over it afterwards with the normal crystal clear spray, which I put on all my projects. It protects it as well as giving it that lovely shine to finish it off. And there we have it, that little project is finished. So 11 inches by 17, scroll saw project on fencing wood with Pegasus number no. five spiral blades, spray painted and a bit of hand painting for the black. Biting up the lips. Thank you very much for watching.